air source heat pumps. Air source heat pumps are also heat pumps. They're exactly the same as ground source heat pumps, except they take the heat from the outside air rather than from the ground. And if you, under the right circumstances, they have their place. They are oversold in this country and missold in this country, almost always. Uh, the first problem with air source heat pumps is that the colder it gets outside, normally, the more heat you want in your house. But the colder it gets outside, you're going to get less energy for the air source heat pump because it's taking the heat out of the cold in the first place. So when it's minus 5 and blowing a gale, if you've got a ground source heat pump, you're taking temperature from 12 degrees in the bottom of the field. When it's minus 5 and blowing a gale with an air source heat pump, you're trying to take the temperature out of minus 5. The other problem with them is, is that in this country we spend an awful lot of our time around about 3 degrees. And if you ask any foreigner about what's the weather like in England, they'll say it rains a lot, it's humid, it's damp. And it is. And at 3 degrees we have very, very, very high moisture content in our air. And the problem with a lot of air source heat pumps is that they try and extract too much energy out of too small a heat exchanger on the back of the air source heat pump. And so what happens is, as the air goes over the heat exchanger, which has a refrigerant going through it at minus 20, it deposits the water vapour in the air and forms ice. And so the heat pump has to stop every 20 minutes, 30 minutes to de-ice itself. Now when it's de-icing itself, it isn't putting heat into the house. So just at the time when you needed all the heat in the house, it has to stop and use its energy to heat itself. And often it will then fire up an immersion heater to heat the house at the same time. So now, for five minutes every 20 minutes, you're using the amount of energy that you should have been putting into the house into stopping the thing from defrosting. Defrost. At the same time, it fires up a 12 kilowatt immersion heater to heat the house at 12 pence per kilowatt hour. So, yes, they have a place. But don't ever, ever think about replacing a gas boiler with an air source heat pump, because all that will happen is it will double your running costs. If you've got propane, then it's probably worthwhile doing if you really can't go for a ground source heat pump. One of the other things is that to get the air source heat pumps that are permitted development, they are all very, very small and very, very quiet. Most of you will be living in houses that require more energy than those little heat pumps are actually capable of doing without defrosting for 10 minutes every 20 minutes. And I'm not exaggerating. Anything that's worthwhile installing in a listed property is probably going to be three or four times the size that you'd like it to be, aesthetically. And because of that, it will also require planning permission. Whereas ground source heat pumps do not require planning permission ever. The only thing that you might have to do is to talk to your conservation officer about where you break in to the building to get the pipes flowing backwards and forwards. Most people don't really bother. And I have to say most conservation officers are very, very keen to have ground source heat pumps put into a building because it actually helps the fabric. Because you're not heating and cooling the building all the time, it just brings it up to a temperature and keeps the fabric.